Well, hey, good day there. Wrench here. Yeah, I came on the driveway here now. I'm just about to jump in the truck and get going, get my day started. And I come along and you have a look and you go, oh, man, now what? Always something. So you go, well, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. But you know what? Actually, this doesn't take too long to fix. If it's a screw or a nail, you know, it's a pretty quick job. Take a quick look at it. Say, hey, man, do I got something stuck in there? You know, take a quick look around. Of course, if you know if you nailed this uh, valve stem off of a curb and that's bust off in there, then uh, you know maybe you're going to be stuck here for a while. You're going to have to put your spare on or call somebody or whatever. But you know, I took a quick look at this and I look around and you look and you go, oh, well, what's going on here? Yeah, look at great big screw stuck in there. So we're going to pop that thing out of there. We're going to stick a plug in. And uh, just see how fast this goes. We're going to be underway in no time. All right, this is how we're going to go about fixing this thing. So, uh, you know, before you go and get a flat like what I've got here, uh, go and get yourself a kit to keep the thing handy on hand, a tire repair kit. You know, go to your local uh, whatever you use for automotive thing there, Canadian Tire or whatever, you know, Napa ace or pep boys whoever you go to i'm not promoting anybody just go and get yourself a kit um i have this you know this is my own kit type of thing so you need one of these here uh, needle threaders whatever you want to call it to install the plugs so here's the plugs you can buy the plugs like this extra uh so here's a plug here so uh they come uh they come here it's saying seven inches long seven inches is awful long so i always take these and cut them in half uh so they come in like this ah. so there's a whole length of them here so i cut them in half because you don't need them seven inches long it's crazy so i'm going to cut them in half here anyway so i've only got one left in here because get used all the time so we're going to cut this thing in half just kind of eyeball it here and uh Maybe going about like so. And we're going to throw them for next time in my kit. Because I still have one on here. So you peel them off. These things are super sticky. Got tar and vulcanizing glue and guck all over them here. Oh, I can't even get it open. So here you go. All right. All right, so we're gonna stick this through this uh, port, this eye of this uh, installation tool. So you just kind of squeeze, squeeze the end of this here flat a little bit to easier to get that thing started in there. And just it's like threading a sewing needle. Just stick it on there and pull it, pull it about halfway through, about like so. Now when you shove it in the tire. You know, it'll go into the tire and it's going to fold back, obviously. I'm going to pull a little bit more through. I'm going to fold back. And then when you retrieve this really fast, this end of it here is split open. It's cut in there. And it'll, this this tool will just slide off of the of the plug and it'll just come out and it'll, the tool will come out and it'll leave the plug in that hole. So it's as easy as that. We're going to, they, in the kits, they always give you a reaming tool to ream out the hole where you've removed your nail or your screw from. Uh, I've never, ever had a reamer. This is my reamer. It's about a 3 sixteenths or whatever it is. And here's the tool that, there's a tool that does the reaming. So here's my reamer. And the purpose of reaming that hole out is, uh, it's supposed to be if there's any rust on the cords inside the uh oh stuff's blown away if there's uh rust on the cords inside that tire you're supposed to try and clean that off a little bit and everything there's not going to be any rust on the belts inside that tire on mine uh because you know what that screw wasn't in there you know yesterday or well got in there sometime yesterday and it's only been sitting in there for 24 hours there's no rust on the belts in there so i'm not worried about that at all but even if there is that that drill bit's gonna gonna clean things up there for me so Anyway, so we're going to get on it and uh, check out how quickly this goes. Very quick and very easy. All right, so I uh, I filled some air in the tire here. 
make that thing a little bit solid and and uh, a little bit easier to work on. Give it for when we're pushing that new plug in there. So he's got some uh, soapy water here in the kitchen sink, and boy, she's uh, she's going like crazy there, leaking like mad. So we're gonna pop this thing out, see what we got, and uh, oh, it's hissing. Oh, crappiest little self-tapping screw that you can imagine. All right. So we're gonna take the handy dandy reamer here. Powered, powered reamer, and we're gonna open that hole up and clean the stuff out a little bit in there. Make sure you get into the right hole, don't make another one. All right, that'll do it. All right, grab the plug, and we're gonna push it in. And we're gonna push it in until there's just, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch or so of this thing here still hanging out. And then we're gonna quickly retract the tool out of there and the plug will stay in and seal the hole. Okay, so there's only like you know, a quarter of an inch or so of that plug left, all the rest of it's in there. We're gonna pull this thing out fast and that'll do it. That's it. That hole is plugged. We're gonna take a knife, we're gonna, we're gonna sh shave that off there a little bit. And that's it, you know, a lot of people, you see a lot of people that'll put uh, like valve you know, vulcanizing rubber cement or whatever on that plug when they shove it in there. And you know, uh, I've never done that. I've done a lot, lot of these plugs over the years and these things last forever in there. I've never ever put that cement on there. I don't even have any. So that plug will, you know, it'll last as long as this tire lasts. That tire will run out or wear out a tread before that plug starts leaking. So, uh, Spray some on there, play around with it a little bit, and it's all good. So we're gonna fill this thing, fill the tire full of air, and I uh, hope you can hear me, my neighbor's cutting the lawn. We're gonna fill the tire full of air and uh, head down the road, we're done, that's it. So that's as easy as it takes uh, to do this. Uh, if you got something out of this here, please uh, hit the like and subscribe for me there, and, uh, and uh, ring the bell and all that, and uh, until the next one, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again.